And housing experts are telling me while real estate transactions are happening, they're only now beginning to see some disruptions at the ends of the market. That's so-called workforce housing and luxury home sales. I don't see our industry stopping. George Guerra Jr., broker and chairman of the Miami Association of Realtors, tells us while deals are still closing, they are witnessing disruptions at two ends of the market high in sales due to the stock market's recent tumble. So we've seen some slowdown, some cancellations. And workforce housing. Anybody in the service industry and in the restaurant industry is being affected greatly. You know, I've seen several transactions where move-in dates are in the last couple days and they're scared to move in. Experts are optimistic about the COVID-19 stimulus package and some mortgage lenders offering loan payment deferment programs. Evictions being delayed, foreclosures being delayed. So, so I, I think everybody is trying to figure out how we can help everybody just get through these tough times. I don't think that, that any judge will sign an eviction at this time. What happens in the housing market, explains Miami City Commissioner Manolo Reyes, could impact city revenue by way of property taxes. We are set this year now. Next year, it all depends what the effect that this uh, virus is going to have. Right now, we are in a waiting game. Guetta says realtors are getting creative, launching virtual home tours to keep the market moving. A community hoping social distancing measures stops the spread and quickens entry into recovery. When we get out of this and, and, and we start normalizing the economy. Uh, and I don't expect a major, a major uh, uh, negative effect in a home ownership and then therefore in property taxes. It was really interesting also speaking to Guerra Jr. about the differences between what we're experiencing now and the Great Recession and the related housing crisis from then. And he basically says that the lessons we learned from that as a nation, in his opinion, has created a firmer, stronger foundation to today's housing market. You can hear him speak more about that on Local10.com. For now, reporting live for you in Miami, I'm Christina Vasquez, Local10 News. Let's hope that holds true right now.